Um, the sixth reason for you to obey Jesus is for your own deliverance, for your own deliverance. This very imperative that you understand this. John chapter 8, verse 12 says, Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Um, when you follow Jesus, he's going to teach you how to avoid darkness. He's going to teach you how to walk in the light, walk honestly and truthfully before him. Uh, but he's going to also teach you how to walk in deliverance and freedom. Amen. And so one of the one testimony I want to give is I remember there was a time in my life when Jesus was teaching me how to be a husband. Say husband. And he was teaching me how to be a husband because I didn't know how to be one. Amen. And most of us don't know how to be um, but we need Jesus to teach us. Amen. And so I remember I was working and on my job, my wife was at home with the kids and I was asking Jesus to teach me how to manage my money. I remember when I first got saved, I went to Gaston, Alabama, a prophet called, I went to a youth conference and a prophet called me out of all these folks. He said, come here. He said, you are an entrepreneur. I said, man, praise God, but you don't know how to manage money. I said, Lord Jesus, why are you calling me out? You need to take some classes. Boy, you don't know how to manage money. <laughs> and so we, we went through financial peace and we went through a few times, right? But we need specific instructions. Those things are very good for us to follow, amen, as principle. We live in those principles. He was a principled man. Financial peace would be, uh, it would be great for us all to go through because what he encouraged is to live in principles. And when you live in a principle, it works, yeah. right? But sometimes we need specific instructions, amen, uh, specific from the Holy Spirit. And so one time, I mean, I remember Jesus told me, man, I'm working hard, amen. I'm working real hard. And Jesus got the nerve to say, this is what Jesus got the nerve to say. He said, give your whole check to your wife and let her pay the bills. Because what I would do is, if, I, if my bill was $275 and all I had was $275, i say, you know what? We need an extension then. <laughs> we need a good old extension. Let's extend this thing all the way out so I can keep a little bit in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? So, and, um, but, every, but before you know it, you extended all the way past the extension. If you keep doing that, you won't, don't want to get paid. And then when I got into business, I said, Lord Jesus, you got to help me because I want my money now. Is somebody talking about an extension on me? <laughs> no, no, I got to pay my bills on time. No, I want my money now. I got bills to pay. I don't want no extension. When you go in business, somebody try to do you like that. Change the game on you, baby. That's why you need to do what's right. But Jesus told me to give my whole check to my wife. Now, my wife, she'll spend the whole check on stuff, just everything paid, right? But wasn't nothing left, you know? And everything get paid, though. Everything on time, everything caught up, everything done, because she was a better manager than me. And sometimes when your wife, when your spouse is a better manager than you, you need to take advantage of that because you're going to live. <laughs> them lights going to be on. I remember when them lights being out and mama like, mm, your daddy. Amen. And so obeying Jesus, and I'm still obeying Jesus in that. That's why we got accumulation. Oh, I'll be spinning up some stuff. But Jesus has also taught me uh, self-discipline as well. Just letting her do that has changed me to become like that. Amen? Amen. And so um, that is the reason you should obey Jesus for your own deliverance. You are, like I just said, you're really holding, your, you're really holding the Lord back from um, doing what he wants to you in your life because either you lack knowledge or you refuse to obey him. Amen? So let's go to number seven.